Hello everyone, this is Inspire 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 3rd of October until the 8th of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the High Priestess. When the High Priestess appears in a spread she often advises you to take a step back from the situation and keep your own counsel for the time being. It would seem that there is more to be revealed in this situation than you may know, and this secret knowledge will be worth waiting for as it will give you greater insight into the situation. The message here is to hold back, avoid instant reactions, and allow things to unfold before you do anything rash. This is also the card of psychic ability, and it may be that you are currently following a spiritual path. It is time to sit back and stop trying so hard, let the natural flow of the universe guide you. Your inner high priestess is waiting to emerge, an event that will require you to let go of what you think you know and allow the truth to be revealed to you. Overall. This card represents wisdom, serenity, knowledge and understanding. She is often described as the guardian of the unconscious. She sits in front of the thin veil of awareness, which is all that separates us from our inner selves. The High Priestess knows the secret of how to access these realms. She represents spiritual enlightenment and inner illumination, divine knowledge and wisdom. She has a deep, intuitive understanding of the universe and uses this knowledge to teach rather than to try to control others. She generally appears in a tarot reading when you need to listen to and trust your inner voice. The High Priestess card represents a link to the subconscious mind, which cannot be accessed through the everyday world but only through dreams and symbols. Pay attention to your dreams and intuition. Look for areas in your life that may be out of balance or that require greater foresight and wisdom. Knowledge of how to fix it will not come through logic or intellect but through your intuition so put aside a time when you can meditate and listen to your own inner voice. Your intuitive sense right now is providing you with useful and helpful information and is assisting you to become more in touch with your subconscious mind. For a male especially, the High Priestess card indicates that he must learn of his anima or female side, or he will fail to grow. For a woman, 
The high priestess suggests that she must learn to trust herself and to be truly feminine, rather than succumbing to the pressures of having to act more like her male counterparts. The high priestess in a tarot reading can also point to the unknown and can indicate that your life is changing. Things that once seem certain can no longer be taken for granted. Some puzzling mysteries become clearer but all is not yet revealed at this point. On the plus side, you will find that your intuitive powers are increasing and you may be inspired to be creative. The High Priestess card is therefore a particularly good card for poets and writers. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the moon. You may be experiencing mood swings, uncertainty, unpredictability and crazy making as a result of fears, imagination and terror, which could be real or imagined. Things deeply submerged in your subconscious come to the surface, paranoia, illusions, delirium and nightmares. Imagine standing in the moonlight. Without the light of the sun everything takes on a different appearance. The dark can be a scary and intimidating place. Past experience, emotional stability, outside influence and social factors can all play a part in how well we deal with the lessons that are described by the card of the moon. Instinct plays a large part in what we fear, the fight or flight response. Your mind can play tricks with you in the half light. The card of the moon represents times of doubt, uncertainty and worry. Overall, the moon is a psychological card of projecting fear into your present and your future, based on past experiences. The images, thoughts and feelings that you have repressed over time cause inner disturbances that are becoming overwhelming. As a result, you are now experiencing negative blocks within your personality causing fear and anxiety. To remedy this, you need to go through a purging process whereby deep memories are released. This is a time when you need to go deep into your soul and dredge up your anxieties, fears, psychic blocks and personality disturbances. Many invisible things are coming to the surface including secret motives, clandestine information and ancient hidden truths. These newly discovered resources may confuse you but once they are brought to your awareness, they will no longer haunt you. The moon is a card of illusion and deception, and therefore often suggests a time when something is not as it appears to be. Vigilance and clear perception will be necessary to find that which is hidden before it is too late. If other cards in the reading are negative, then the moon shows that not all is as wonderful as you would think and there are still hidden forces at play that may unravel your success. You may be idealizing the situation, and ignoring the fact that potential for failure exists among success. If the other cards are generally positive, then the moon suggests that you are letting your imagination run away with you, and that things are not nearly as bad as they seem. In both cases you must open your eyes and see what it really going on. Guard against accepting illusions as they may cause an error in your judgment. Oftentimes, the moon appears in a reading when you are not sure of your destination, or even of the path you are traveling but you travel nonetheless. You may have lost your way and are now left to walk in the dark, guided only by your inner light and intuition. You need to go on without a clear picture of where you are, where you are going or where you have been. The moon is a card of intuition and psychic forces, so let go of your conscious mental blocks or negative self-talk, and allow your intuition to guide you. Your dreams, intuitions, and inner promptings lead you forward toward higher levels of understanding if you listen carefully and use your judgment to help interpret the veiled messages of the unconscious. Not only will the way forward be revealed but in many cases you will learn lessons about yourself that will be valuable in later journeys. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, 
the tower. This is a time of great turmoil and destruction as you seek to understand how you could have been so wrong, so naive, or so blind about a particularly situation. And now, what will you do and how will you manage in the face of this shocking truth? You may be experiencing sleepless nights, depression, grief, anger and confrontation. These are normal reactions to major changes in your outer and inner worlds. A tower experience is any experience that shakes the foundation of your current sense of security and or forces you to question your strongly held beliefs, perceptions, attitudes and behaviors. It may be a divorce, death of a loved one, financial failure, health problems or job loss, or any event that penetrates to the core of your inner being, affecting you spiritually, mentally and physically. It is often descriptive of a major upheaval, disruption, emergency or crisis, and is likely to bring chaos in the aftermath of such an event. Ask yourself, what structures in my life are breaking up? No doubt you will already be very aware of where there is turmoil and destruction but sometimes it can be on a more subtle or subconscious level. The most important aspect of the tower is that with any destruction there comes creation. Thus, the tower card represents an awakening and is about inspiration, freedom, reality and the release from bondage. It is a truth and honesty card that comes as a bolt of lightning to you through a shocking and impactful life event. It represents a necessary experience that forces you to get out of your comfort zone and to grow beyond your present level. The sudden destruction of the tower represents the immediacy of change, and the often disorienting effects of that change. Once you hit rock bottom the choice is yours. You can revert to the self-defeating, restrictive devil, or reach for the transformational and inspirational star. When you begin to reach for the star, you will come to realize that your true security and strength lies within yourself and your relationship with the universe and not in some false belief system or artificially created world. Following a tower experience, you can rest assured that you will grow stronger, wiser and more serene as you begin to develop a completely new perspective on life that you did not even know existed. These moments in time are necessary for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Truth and honesty will bring about a positive change, even if you must experience pain and anxiety throughout the process. The tower also represents the inner and outer structures that you have built. These structures represent your personal defenses, defenses that create a more socially acceptable you by hiding your true, inner thoughts and feelings. It is like laughing politely when your boss tells a joke, or, on a deeper level, disguising your sexual feelings, particularly if you feel that they are socially inappropriate. In times of great pressure and stress, these structures will be tested and are at risk of shattering, finally revealing your true inner self to those around you. So, you need to be very careful how much of yourself you attempt to hide, knowing that one day, all will be revealed. The tower therefore asks you to break down the structures that you have surrounded yourself with. This can be a painful and difficult process if you resist against the external forces that are pushing you to reveal more of yourself. Breaking through this pretense can cause a great deal of anguish but remember that the tower will fall, whether you like it or not, because you have reached your limits in this area and can no longer live with it. Similarly. The tower can signify your ego and the illusion of considering yourself to be superior to others. When the tower of ego, deception and illusion is destroyed, you are free to face truth and reality without the trappings of false attachments. Are you undergoing a major shift in consciousness? Are you beginning to see things in a new way? Embrace the opportunity to accept change and move forward into a more positive psychological state where personal freedom is the rule. This card can show either the abrupt ending of a relationship or, in fact, 
the experience of love at first sight, where eyes meet across a crowded room and bang, instant attraction. In an established relationship the tower can show a fight or argument, but also indicates that this needed to happen in order to clear the air. Whatever the circumstances when the tower turns up, there is usually a need for somebody to be thrown out of their comfort zone, if things don't change then we cannot grow. The last card for you as guidance for your love life. The guidance card for you is. The music. The angels guide you to immerse yourself in beautiful music. Music lifts your spirit above earthbound concerns and elevates your thoughts to divine love. You have angels with you who want to help you through the healing properties of music. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to add more music into your life. They guide you to play soft background music while you dress, work, and play. They also ask you to whistle and sing often. You may also have drawn this card because of your own musical gifts. Have you felt guided lately to compose a song, participate in a musical play, join a singing group or band, or play an instrument? These inner nudges may be coming from your angels, who can see your God-given gifts. They know that your musical talents will help others. So, they ask you to be an earth angel by expressing your gift of song and melody. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.